for people that aren't familiar, can you explain how it even got to the rich gang situation? It was dirt gang first. Right. Correct? How did you it's become still a dirt gang? Still dirt gang. Still dirt gang. Dirt gang how did you become a part of that? And that was through Brick Squad? What? Dirt Gang? No, nah, like Dirt, Dirt Gang, gang that's, 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 that's the family without the music. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you were BSM. Yeah, only. yeah. I still, see. It's still fuck with Walker, still fuck with everybody, everything the same, nothing the same. Okay. Now, how did you become a part of that initially? What, with the whole BSM thing? Yes, yeah. Fucking with Slim, you know what I'm saying? Slim brought me in with it. We did a song, then we did a mid tape, then we just kept working. We just kept working. Everybody got down, built something out of it. Now, what was Dirt Gang initially? Was that you and Slim and some other people? How did that come about before even the BSM? It was like Fab Five, you know what I'm saying? Fab Five, Dirt Gang, me, Slim, Chad, Day Day, J Mike. It was a lot of like just family, the whole, you know what I'm saying? Where we from, you know what I'm saying? All the niggas and all the little crew and everything. And the name Dirt Gang, where did that come from? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> dunk, that's all Dunk Gang what we. So it was Dirt Gang, then it was a, a BSM situation. I mean, it was always Dirt Gang, but as far as when it, with the music and we're walking there, thing, Brit Squad Monopoly, so it was like just Dirt Gang BSM. And then how did. Rich Gang and London on the track come into play. How did that era of your career happen? Really, we've been, you know, I've been on London for a minute, even back, you know what I'm saying? I met him when he first started working with Dunk a while ago, so that's how I met him. And um, we've been working over the years or whatever, so when he got his situation, it kind of like just happened. Like, me and him still rocking and still working, so it kind of like just. It, we was in the same situation doing the same shit, so it was just kind of led. One thing led to another. Now, working with Waka, what's one thing you learned being, what's the biggest thing you learned being around him, or the most important thing you learned being around him? Energy. <laughs> you got to have energy, you got to perform, you got to get these folks something to goddamn rock with. These people got to know you. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, what's the word? Letting them folks know who you is. You know what I'm saying? Making them feel like they know you. That's like one of the most important things I got from bro. What about London on the track? Most important thing you learned being around him or biggest advice he's given you? Do me. Biggest advice London never gave me, do me. What about Birdman being around Rich Gang? <clears throat> Same thing, biggest advice he's given you or most important thing you learned being around him? He told me, um, You know, all the hate, all the shit that's going wrong, you're supposed to go wrong. Don't let that shit stop you. It's supposed to make you go harder. Stay focused. All this shit supposed to happen. 